this night go as you expected it? Uh, it did. It did. It's all God's plan. Went back to the three-point line. They were thinking win, but he had... I had a really good offseason, so I'm excited to be able to join these guys. To be home, it's a blessing for me, for my family, and my friends. I'm not far from them. They can come and see the games, so I'm excited. I'm from Charlotte. You know how these niggas do, baby. If shit don't work out, I'm just going to the NFL. High school Dennis Smith Jr. was really a dog. This man really got me into high school basketball, dunking over everything at like 5'11". He had a handle. He was talking shit. He was going one-on-one -on -one with Michael Porter Jr. He was going crazy at Steph Curry's camp. Dennis Smith Jr. was amazing. Dennis Smith was supposed to be this high usage athletic PG, similar to John Morant. Then Luka came. Not just Luka came. Luka was a generational talent to the point where he's so good, everybody else is expendable. I don't care what you did in the past. I don't care if you had a promising rookie year. Luka is a dog, so you better get in line or you're gonna get left. And then even worse, Luka plays the same position as you. You can't even be no wing. You can't even be no off-ball shooting guard because Luka just took your role and made it even better. That's bad luck. And with this, it forced DSJ to play off ball, a role he was not comfortable with. It forced DSJ to do things that he has never did since he was seven years old. He's been one making the decisions, scoring the most points from every level of ball until now. Getting acclimated to not play in that way requires you to say fuck your ego. The small guard style of play doesn't really fit unless you are A, top tier shooter like Steph Curry, B, can play make your ass off like Trey Young, or C, athletic and using the athleticism in your drives, in your speed, in your first step like Ja Morant. Anything else besides that, if you're not top tier, 99 percentile in any of these things, you are required to play the bench. And Dennis Smith Jr. tried to play this role on every other team after that. He tried to do it with the Knicks, it didn't work. With the Blazers, it didn't work. He tried to do it with Detroit, it didn't work. So Dennis Smith Jr. sat at the table, looked at himself and said, okay, I am not the player from high school. I cannot dribble, dribble all damn day. And hopefully one of these teams are gonna pay me millions of dollars to do this while losing. Then he was signed by his hometown. He went by step. He knows he's got five fouls. Can't be that aggressive. Now, Dennis Smith Jr. has been playing basketball since he was six years old. You know what else he's been doing? Living in North Carolina, playing college in North Carolina. Now he's playing in Charlotte. This is a match made in heaven. Logically, the only way where Dennis Smith Jr. can really thrive as a small guard without being so dominant is similar to Jalen Brunson or Fred Van Vliet. Now, what's similar about these small but very impactful NBA players? They pick their spots offensively. They don't really dribble the clock out. They make two to three dribbles and then give the ball up or they shoot the ball. It's very precise. Also, this is the most important one, play defense. You don't have to be Gary Payton out there. If you provide constant ball pressure, active hands, and not scared on any challenges with a, with a tight core, that's your way, that's your avenue to play in this league. And above average playmaking slash passing. And Dennis Smith Jr. has been doing all these things well. He's not taking dumbass mid-range shots. He's not taking over the break contested threes like he did in high school and he did with his first year with the Mavericks. He's going to the paint. He's using, he's using his athleticism. He's playing all NBA defense and he's playmaking while LaMelo Ball is injured. Now, I'm not saying he's gonna be an all-star. I'm not saying that, but he can be a impactful player at the NBA level. He can play 10 plus years in this league. We see him knowing his weaknesses and recognizing his strengths. That's what you wanna see from a player who was damning her out the league, trying to go play in the NFL to being an impactful player on a bad team, but Terry Rozier, your spot might get took, my boy. But that'd be all for this video, bro. Um, make sure you like and subscribe, man. I'm out, man. Peace.